vamos a esperar que los demás se nos se nos conecten verdad porque ya estamos ocho ocho y uno ¿verdad? mi reloj y la computadora andan bien ahora hasta el momento eh, con respecto a los a los que comentaron que tienen problemas técnicos y que pues también eh, diversas situaciones o trabajo pues es comprensible eh, se le, eh, siempre háganos saber a la institución, ¿verdad? Para que así este, la institución esté al tanto de lo, de lo sucedido, ¿verdad? Para que no se tome como un ausentismo. Ok, guys. Welcome back, guys. It's a pleasure to be here eh, in today's class. Well, we're going to start with the development of today. Eh, let me see right here. I'm going, oh, at the end of this class, we are going to, to call the roles. We're going to pass the attendance list because it's better at the end. I'm going to share the screen. Here we have right here, and pre-intermediate, oh, sorry, 25 years, oh, it's right here. Thank you, let's move right here. Okay. Okay, guys. Hello, guys. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Well, guys, today we're going to talk about a little bit quantifiers. Quantifier. What it comes to your mind when you hear or you see or watch or observe the word quantifier? What what comes to your mind when you hear this word? Quantifiers. Quantifier. Don't worry if you are not, if you get wrong, because uh, at the end we're going to correct the, the, those, those mistakes, guys. Quantifiers. Quantifier. Here we have a little, Uh, uh, demonstration about how they are distributed uh, starting from 0%. In this case, 0% means that that it said is like not used at all. And the last one is 100%. What does it mean? That the one that is in the side of the 100% That one is the one that is always used the whole time. That is the one that it uses the whole, the whole time. That's why it's on the top. It is 100%. If we have, if you see here, also we can identify it as a, as a little graphic, as a little graphic, starting from 0% and ending in 100%. We have the following. And the zero percent is no one. It's like uh, the one that are not uses, right? And a little bit up, we have no many. We have few, a few, not many. Guys, in those cases, okay, we have three together, few. A few, not many. And in the other part, we have some, a lot of, and many. What about the rest? The rest that are on the top. Most, nearly all, and all. And all. Guys, I have a question for you. Do you think, oh, sorry. Do you think that uh, a few and few, those ones are countable or not countable? ¿Qué creen ustedes? ¿Que este no sirve para, para tener un parámetro contable o no contable? What do you think? It is countable or not countable? Contable. Mm 
we are going to stop right right there and who else wants to share their opinion guys about a few and a few and uh, uh, not countable uh, maria wendy you said that right not countable floricia ah floricia oh the their voice are similar <laughs> sorry sorry it's okay we have another option that we already see not countable okay that might be Apply. Okay, let's see who else. Teacher. Who's talking? Teacher. Teacher. Yeah, yeah I hear you. Uh, because uh, is uh, countable. Mm, okay, you have the idea. Do you think it's, it's used for countable? Uh, okay, that's the point. Yeah. Then we're going to clear a lot uh, about this. And what else, what else, what else, what else? Uh, Miguel Angel. Nice. Which, uh, hello, Miguel Angel. Which one do you consider are, are use this a few and few for countable thing or for countable? For countable. Okay, for content. Okay, guys, we're going to clear this part, this case. Remember in the quantifier, in Spanish, we have objetos contables y no contables. Have you heard about that, right? Contable and uncountable things. Well, I ask you this guy, can you count water? No. No. Mm -hmm. Water cannot be countable. But if you put the water inside of a border, you are not going to count the water. You're going to count the border of water. That is a different case, right? That is a different case. What about in the case of salt? Salt can be countable. The salt, the one that you put to your food. No contact. No countable. No countable because you cannot start counting grain by grain. One salt, two salt, three salt. Ah, you're never gonna to finish. You start counting the the grain of, of salt. In the ocean, no, you're never going to finish. Yeah, okay. And some are uh, no countable. In the case of some. Yes, some ah, yeah. of and many are not countable. In this, in this case, uh, yeah, it applies for also for not for not countable. But he, we're going to see talking about some example. But if we put the salt into a bag, one pound bag. The salt becomes countable? No. No. Armando, no. Armando he, uh, please listen carefully. If we put the salt in one bag, in one pound bag, in una bolsita, in that case, might be countable? Um, the bag, yes. The bag, yes. Yeah, the bag, of course, of course. One pound of salt, two pounds of salt, three pounds, and blah, blah, blah. In that case, you can count it. The same happened with sugar. You cannot count the grain of sugar. You're going to count the pounds, the kilograms, the grains, and ounces. And you can count that, but the the small pieces of sugar, the grains, no, that cannot be cotton. You're never going to have <laughs> of being counting the the sugar. Can someone tell me another example of no countable things? 
sugar. No, we already were, we already mentioned that sugar. Another one. Another water, one. water. Water. We already mentioned that at the beginning of the class. Well. I couldn't hear well. I can hear you well. I, I, I can hear you well. You said bread. Bread, or I got confused. Guys, can you count floor? Marina. Uh, uh huh. Can we count? By itself, by itself. Oh, Romel, yes, bread, butter. Okay. Uh, Romel is sharing to us and he said bread and butter. Can you count bread? In this case, you put it like bread. a bread might be countable if you put a, one slice of bread, two slice, three slice. In that case, might be countable. In that case. Well, which one said another the one? Star. Star. Uh, the stars, the star of the sky, uh, supposedly, supposedly they are countable. But if you start to counting, ooh, they are a lot. They are, I think that might be like an infinite. But they might be counted. But you're, I think you're never going to finish of counting them. That, that's what I have heard about the stars. And Romer was telling us the border, the border. What is guy? Wait, what I mean, okay. Okay, the border, he said the border. The border, the border is the one that you spread on the bread. And uh, he also mentioned sand, the sand. The sun cannot be countable. The sun cannot be countable. Only in the case if we put it into a bag. Guy, do you think cotton can be countable? Guys, do you think cotton, cotton, the one that we it is used for, for making clothes, it is countable or not countable? El, el algodón. No contable. Ajá. Uh -huh. No contable. The cotton, it is only contable when it is heavy or it is put in the bag in order to be weight. Okay. Well, guys. Here we have some example about the percentage, the percentage about how can we use each of them. Here we have no. And we have a key, like a real example. Get married before the age of 18. No one. What does this mean? No one gets married before the age of 18. No one. O sea, nadie. We have the case of not many, a few, and few. We have not many couples have more than two, that, sorry, than one child. A few couples have more than one child. Few couples have more than one child. Those are the three uses that with the same sentence that we can do. Here we have many, a lot of, and so. And it is said, many families are smaller these days. Yeah, many families are smaller due to the increases of the rising price of in the really struck or package with the everything you need to buy. Uh, a lot of families are smaller this day. Some families are smaller this day. And we have here the category that are always located in the 100%. We have all, nearly all, and most. 
all families have only one child. Nearly all families have only one child. Most families have only one child. If you see, the majority of them are quantified in order to tell us an idea about the thing that we're going to talk. Okay, guys, let's going to move. We're going to move this from here to there. Okay. Let me check this. Okay, guys. And here we have rewrite these sentences using quantified, then compare with a partner. Guys, what does this mean with rewrite? Rescribe. Rescribe. Or we are going to do again the sentence that we have or the, that we have here. Here we have one, one sentence, one statement. In China, 50% of women get married by the age of 22. Which one might be another way in which can rewrite this sentence using quantifier? Which one do you consider, guys? Remember the quantifier that we have here, all of them. Or nearly most, many, a lot, not many, a few. Mm -hmm. How can we rewrite a this sentence? Of. A lot of, a lot of, of a woman. Get married by the age of 22 years old. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 Armando. I, I, uh, I, a lot I, of I, women I, get married. No, the, we are uh, we are taking apart the fifty percent. Uh, Many. Mm -hmm. Or oh, we can or oh, 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 we can tell in another way, like like in China, a lot of women uh, marry. Uh, in China. Uh, Many, or we can use many women in China, the 50% get married at the age of 22. We can do it in that way too. It's like a, to resemble the parts and move it to, to each other. We can say it in, in that way because we can use um, uh, nearly 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 in, in nearly all in china 50 percent of women get married at the age of 22. we can rewrite it in in that case too and what about what about the number two it said in australia 87 percent of married couples have children the most. The most. Mm, no, not the most. Armando, if you said the most, that that you you are using like a superlative. Very yeah. often. Most. Most. Most of. Uh, Australians. Most of Australian. We can call it in that way. Most of Australian. Uh, uh, most of Australian people or most of Australian uh, most Australian people Couples. get married uh, of married couple have children or or we can or we can say in this way, 80, 87 of married couples have children. Most of them, most of them in Australia. 87 of married couples have children. Most of them in Australia. We can like a restructure in, in that case, changing this to the to the end of the sentence and adding most. 
most of them. We can we can do like a, that, that mix between those quantifiers. Here we have the number three. In the United States, 0%. Wow, 0%. 0% of the people vote before, oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I understand. 0% of the people vote before the age of 18. That's true because nobody can vote before the, uh, the 18. Even here in El Salvador, you, you cannot do it that. When you got your chiquidui, remember guys, when you did that at school, I don't know how many of you had that, that, uh, that experience in, in, in my case, I, I had that experience at a school when they start with, with those little projects in order to introduce the, the little, uh, the, the little ones, uh, to the voting process. Once you become an, an adult guy. Yeah. I remember that when, you, when they get, when they went to school, and gave you a, a chiquidui, and you you may like uh, you were voting, and you were marking for the one that you're giving the vote. Yeah, I remember that. Okay, what about how can we restructure this this sentence? The number three, In the United States, zero percent of people vote before day of eighteen. Who can help me, guys? Mm -hmm. Who can help me? Mm -hmm. Marisol, do you no have one like... who who is talking? Floricia. Floricia, Floricia, Floricia. Okay, Floricia, help me, Floricia. How how do, how did you do it with this with this sentence? Um. No one uh, in the United the, States uh -huh. vote before the age uh, of nine. Eight, of eight, no, eight, eighteen. Uh, eight, eight, eighteen. Uh -huh. Eighteen. Mm -hmm. That that eight. that might be that might be applied. That might be applied also. That might be applied. Or we can. What about um, uh -huh. you said you said no one, right? Mm -hmm. yes, yeah, no one. no one. No one I think is the 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 perfect match for 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 this sentence. Yeah, because we are talking about a zero percent. That's why like uh no one goes exactly right here. Okay, what about the number four? Who can help me? Elsa, hello. Hello. Hello, Elsa. How are you, Elsa? I'm fine. Okay, Elsa. Okay, Elsa. Would you like to help Possessa to rewrite those sentences or this one? In this case, the number four. You see yeah. the quantifier. Just give us an idea. Don't worry if you are confused or you did a mistake. Because here, between all of us, we're going to help us in order to to do those okay. exercises. Uh, mm -hmm. 35 or not many percent of the people in Germany live alone. Mm -hmm. Many percent of the people in Germany live alone. Okay, thank you. Thank you for that. That might be applied because we are free riding. Uh, what the, what this is mean? Make the sentence in another way. Okay, thank you, Elsa. Thank you, Elsa. Let's going to see here. Daniela. Hi, teacher. Hello, Daniela. How are you, Daniela? I'm fine. Okay, Daniela. Are you falling asleep, Daniela, or not? No. Ah, no, you, you don't, you don't. Okay, Daniela, thank you. Thank you for helping me with the number five exercise right here. Here we have the sentence. 78% of American high school students have jobs. How can, um, we, how can we rewrite 
this sentence using the quantifiers. Must. Must, okay. Must. Must 78% of American high school students have a job. Okay, or we can say in an, another different way. Most of American high school students have jobs. We can do it in that way too, because we are rewriting the sentence. Uh, guys, I I see the, that is the, the majority of you. Remember, guys, that Armando shares the uh, uh, shares an image where it shows uh, who were the one that are missing with some activities. The majority of you are, are already have completed activities, but I was observing that just a few have like a 50 or 60% of them. And we have until tomorrow to finish them because if you remember this module, we finish tomorrow, right? Tomorrow, doing a feedback of the final test. Remember that guy, if you hadn't finished, you can work during the night or in a space that you have for tomorrow, you can continue. You, okay. Here we already finished. Okay, guys, we are going to move to our next slide. Next presentation that we have right here. Writing an email about your family. Writing an email. Uh, nowadays, guys, nobody, I think, uh, writes email to your family because the majority of us, uh, we have WhatsApp, we have yeah. Telegram, we have Messenger, which, which one? And uh, we have Line, we have... Instagram. We have, oh, we have Instagram, we have, mention Twitter. another one, Twitter, Twitter, we have Twitter, what else? Um, TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, I, I'm asking you this because I don't know. I don't have TikToks on my cell phone. I don't know why <laughs> I don't, I don't like that, that, that app because I think that uh, I've been wasting a lot of time if I have it on my cell phone. That's why I didn't upload in the, the the app. But in TikTok, can you send message to another people? Yes. I, uh, but you do it like you were in Messenger or not? No. Um, You're doing pull. Like no, no, no. Or you, or, or you just like uh, Instagram. Yeah, the post. In, in, yeah, but in Instagram, uh, the those one are uh, inbox, right? Or yeah. person or personal message. Yes, it is. The, the same is in, in in TikTok. Yes. Ah, oh, I didn't know that. That that. Uh, if you see I uh, there and you think uh, today, <laughs> I didn't know that you, you that you can do that uh, on TikTok because I don't have TikTok. I used to have Instagram, but I I eliminate the app in my account. I I only have Facebook, but uh, I only have Facebook just for for my friend because in high school, a lot of my friends they move uh, to US, and I have a lot of them in the US, and I have found them in Facebook. That's why I, I still have in Facebook. I think that is the only social media that I have. But the other ones, no, I, I think I was wasting a, a lot of time in, in the screen, yeah? Okay, that's why we don't type or we don't write emails because we have all of those apps in order to send a message to whoever or whatever uh, we want to send it. And if you have the phone number of a friend, do you send a message? If you have a, a your friend in a social media app, whatever we want to call it, we already mentioned some of them. 
you can send a message to to that platform. Okay, here we have the email. Hey, here is a write an email to your email about your family. Email. Wow, wow. I think this this is very old because he's talking about email. Okay, dear John Jun. They love Korean names. They love really Korean names. Jong Jun. I think they Jong Jun or, or they use Jojo. Jojo. <laughs> Jojo. <laughs> <laughs> Have you heard the joke about the the the, the Chinese guys? Uh, how do you say espejo in Chinese? I told you. I told you. <laughs> <laughs> I think this case happened with this one because they 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 use a, a lot of names like 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 making emphasis in itself. Yeah, Jung Jung, Jung Jung. Yeah, even with the with the famous brands that that, that we have in the in the motor industry, uh, those are last name, family last name. Those are family last name. Uh, okay. It is right. Uh, Maria Wendy is telling me that it's raining. Okay. If you remember, guys, we have uh, Yamaha, we have Suzuki, we have Toyota, we have Honda. All of those names are not names, are last name from those people that are or become famous in the industry in the motor industry those of them are are, are last name are not are not names or or, or names that they created for the company yeah like kawasaki and suzuki already mentioned right okay here here is it same for your email now let me tell you about my family. My parents are coffee farmer. Most family here are small. I have one older sister, but I don't have a brother. My sis my sister name is he didn't finish the the email. Okay. In in this case, guys, we I think in the only case that we are going to type or we are going to write. A uh, message, or in this case, we can refer like an like an email. Oh, guy, how many of you are still having problem with your with your internet? Because I I observing that a lot of students are with their camera off. Elisa Barriento is with the camera off. Ingrid, Karina, Wilfredo. Uh, Diana Anderson. Oh, but, but Diana tell, tell us that she was, but she had a like a surgery, right? And Jocelyn Alicia, she's still the same like, like yesterday. Okay, guys, remember that, guy. It's not that you have to be with your camera off. Only in those cases when you are not at home or you're still at work, that in that case we really consider that you have your camera off because uh, it is understandable that you're not going to be at work in with your camera on because maybe your boss is not agree with that or give you the chance to be in classes. Um, or maybe in those cases that some guys are, some of your classmates are texting me. Like they have a technical issue due to the rain, because even here in, in where I live, it, it is raining, but the the rain comes down. Okay, guys. In this case, those kind of email, how this one is structured, and uh, we only made those ones in the case we have a friend that we hadn't seen in a long time. But if we have a friend that we always see him or her the the majority of the time, we're not going to type or write um, a message like this one. You're just going to send a message like, like telling, ah, uh, hello, how are you? And that's it. Oh, Wilfredo Alberto driving uh, and raining too. 
Oh, the rainy come back. The rainy come back here. Okay, guy. Uh, how do you usually write a message to your to your friend, to your family? Mm. We're going we are not going to mention the boyfriend. <laughs> that is going to be <laughs> to a <aside>. side. <laughs> how do you usually type to your friends or send a message to your friend? The majority uh, Blanca, how do you usually send a message to your friend? Do you do it in this form or in this way, or you do it in another way? On your sticker, say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, did, did you remember? Did you remember the last class that we were talking about the message, but using letters, letters and number, right? Did you remember that class, right, guys? When we were when we were uh, watching the that paragraph, and we have a chapter that was telling us the meaning of of the letters, the meaning of the word, and we can translate them. Remember, for you two, we use a you and a two, and the number two you two <laughs> instead <laughs> of saying you two. And what else? What? What else? What? How are you? Which one, Armando? How are you? Ah, how, ah, how ah, are ah, are the letter you? R U E U. Ah, yeah. Hi. <laughs> hey, guys. That is how the the language is decomposed. Because language is a structure in one way in order to to be understandable, but it's we disorder the language in those cases are not understandable or uh, or you cannot perceive uh, well the the message that you are trying to to tell to another person because you maybe might understand but another one. If they don't have an idea, they never uh, won't understand what you are writing to them. That is how the the the, the language is, can vary in different form. And not only in the United States, we also remember that we were talking about how here in our country we used to scramble the language with the letter P, pa, 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 using the P. I see the majority of you have have used uh, that structure here in El, in El Salvador, talking with the letter P. When you used to say papa, papa, <laughs> repeating the, the the letter P, yeah, that, that was very that was very famous at at that time, guys. Okay, if we okay we continue here talking about the email an email about your family the majority of us we just only send a simple message not an email anymore or in the case i think the majority of you uh, you do like a video call how many of you prefer a video call instead of of, of typing a message how many of you guys Say I, I, who, 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 who over there? Oh, I, I, I already remember. Wasabi having like a a new auction that you can send like a short video, uh, like a like a message, right? Yes. Uh huh. Yeah, I, I was remember that. You you put your finger with the microphone and appears like a, a camera, and in that way you you record a little video about what you are going to tell to to another person. That is like a, something interesting, right? Because if you want to to another person see you, you can do it in that way too. Instead of of sending just an image. Okay, let's move to 
Let's move to the next slide. Oh, I don't know why. I see my okay. Okay, guys. Here we have another one. You have a little. This is bigger. The changing, the changing family. Read the article, then check the question. You think the article will answer? Okay. Why do women work outside the home? What happens when both parents work? Okay, here we have a, a dialogue. I, no, this is like a, an article. Okay, here it says, American families are changing. One important change is that most married women now work outside the home. What happens when both parents work? Read about the Morales family. Judy and Steve Morales have three children, Josh, 12, Ben, 9, and Emily, 6. Steve is a computer programmer. This year, Judy is working again as a hospital administrator. The family needs the money, and Judy likes her job. Everything is going well, but there are also some problems. Here we have the father, Steve, right? Now that Judy is working, Steve has to help her more with the housework. He doesn't enjoy it. What does this mean, guy? That he doesn't like helping in the house. Housework. Housework. What does this mean, guy, in Spanish? Housework. Trabajo en casa. Los, los trabajos de casa, o los, o como sería esta otra palabra en español? Los... Oficios del hogar. Eso, no. eso, eso, Domestico. eso. Eso, eso. Oficios del hogar o los oficios domésticos. Gracias, gracias, gracias. Uh, I think the, it is like a kind of weird that some, some man, uh, they don't like to help in the housework. I don't know why, but if you have your wife and the two of you work, and if one of them arrives early at home, that one that arrived early at home, it is the one that I'm going to start doing what it needs to do, what it is need to be doing at home, like um, washing, and uh, washing the plates, and or maybe doing the laundry in the washing machine, and mopping mopping the floor, or sweeping the floor. And like, uh, uh, I think the majority of us in El Salvador, we don't do our bed in the morning. We do our bed after we came to, after we came from work. That's what we usually do. It is, it is very weird that the people that do their bed uh, after they wake up, we usually do it when we come back from, from work. Okay, let's continue here. Judy. Judy loves her work, but she feels too tired and busy. She also worries about the children. Judy has to work on Saturday, uh, so Steve and Judy don't have a lot of free time together. Guys, this is not only a reality in the U.S. This is a reality, I think, this happening all around the world. Uh, you as a couple, the major, the the one of you that are married, uh, the one that have children too. If you see at home, there's always something to do. But in this case, when the two of you work, like your free time is getting shorter, shorter. You don't used to have the same time that you used to have it before. Your time is getting shorter and you are not having too much time for going out with your friend and drinking a beer or going to a party. And that's happened when you decide to to establish a, a, a home, a place where you want to live. And that's what you have to, to think about, like a, more than one time <laughs> what you want to do it because even your expenses increases 
when when you have uh, when you live apart from your family, when you live with your wife, with your with your children, because you have to spend in everything. Uh, some maybe some problems that you don't expect, like uh, the car needs to be fixed, the plumbing at home, and having some problem, uh, electrical connection at home. So, are having problems too. Uh, there's no food at home. We need to go to the supermarket. You need to buy something. Oh, a lot of a lot of things change. A lot of things change. Okay. What about Emily? Emily's having a great time in her after school program. When Judy comes to pick her up, she doesn't want to leave. Oh. That's why those programs are very important. And in those cases, guys, if you see just in, in, in private school here in your country, uh, the students have uh, that option after school programs. The, what does it mean? The student uh, stay in the stay at school or, or at college uh, after the class have finished. And they have some program like karate, swimming, taekwondo, and even they have a uh, 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 how how do you call this like uh, oh the music band the music band yeah the 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 music band or or a dancer group yeah we they they have a lot of they have a lot of. And uh, those programs are very good because help you to to give you time uh, to your children to stay a little bit more at school uh, because it, it's better that they stay there with their professor instead of being alone at home. That is that is better in that case. Unfortunately, Ben's school doesn't have an after school program. Right now, he's spending most afternoon in front of the TV. Guy, I ask you this. Do you think it is good that the majority of the children in El Salvador spend most of their afternoon in front of a TV? Do you think this is good for them? Pasar todo el tiempo pegado en la pantalla? No, good. It is not good because they're going to have eye problem. They're going to start using glasses. Yeah, they van a comenzar a utilizar los famosos lentes de botella después. Eh, because if you spend a lot of time in front of a screen, eh, the computer, eh, the cell phone, the tablet, or your television, eh, those lights, the those devices produce uh, really are harmful for your eyes. That's why it is not recommending spending a lot of time in front of those digital devices. Yeah, uh, that, that's why it is very, very, very bad. And this is going to affect your pocket because your children have eye problems. You're going to spend more in ophthalmology that you need to spend in their glasses in the in, in the in the exam that the doctor does and oh, are a lot of things and for the medicine that you have to buy after the the exam it is it is not good for for the sake right Josh is enjoying his new freedom after school He's playing his music louder and spending more time on the phone. He's also doing a few household chores. Oh, also mm, a big, a big problem nowadays. Uh, guys, I ask you this. Do you consider uh, children like the ages between five years to 15? Do you consider that they really need to have a cell phone? ¿Creen que es, creen que, creen que es prioridad eso? No. 
No. No. No. What can you do in order to avoid your children spend a lot of time from auto devices? You can buy them if you just want to call them uh, to ask how how are they, if they are home, if they are not at home. You can buy a simple cell phone. Esos teléfonos sencillos que solo son de teclita. No, necesaria, no necesariamente you need to buy a smartphone. No. The smartphone is the worst thing that you can do because it is not an obligation that your little guys have those devices. Those devices must be like a, like a, a be under your supervision the whole time. If you if your guys want to be with them you need to give them a specific time, like a 15 minutes, 20 minutes. And the most, I think is 30 minutes, the most, the most. More than 30 minutes in front of a, a, a phone or a tablet, I think it is not good for them. Okay, those are the difference that we have. And well, in our case, here in El Salvador, it's very important that the two of them, they have a job and work because in that case, they generate a higher income to their homes. Because it is not the same that just one at home works and another one stay at home. But there are some cases that it, it with just one, one income that the family can survive and, and have all the necessary supplement or the thing that they need at home. Okay, let's go to move to our last slide, guys. And who wants to give their apport to this text, guys? ¿Quién quiere dar su opinión si idea al respecto? Guys, nobody. Okay, we're going to move to, to our last slide. Okay. Read the article, then answer this question, write the name of the family members. Okay, guys, here we have one, two, three, four, five questions. We are going to answer this uh, five question. The number one says, which children are benefit? Oh no, sorry. Which children are benefiting from duty working? Who of them are benefiting? Lo que es, eh, se favorecen del trabajo de Judy. Emily and Josh. Emily and Josh. Josh, Josh the two. Then Emily and Josh. Okay, thank you. What about the numbers, the number two? Which child is not benefit from duty working? Ben. Who? Ben. 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 Is the one that doesn't receive something from Judy's work, right? And what about the number three? Which family member is enjoying more freedom? George. 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 They are enjoying more freedom. Teacher, what does it really mean, freedom? What does it mean in Spanish, guys? Freedom. Libre. No. Eh, libre, libertad, tiempo libre, libertad. tiempo libre. What else? Give me another synonym. Ocio. Ocio, tiempo fuera, eh, como un tiempo de relajamiento. ¿Qué más? Un descanso. Un descanso. Descanso. Descanso, ok. If you see, we have a lot of synonyms, even in Spanish. Not only in English, in Spanish we have a lot of them. Ok, what about the number four? Which family members are doing more housework? Steven, 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 and Steven and Josh. Steven and Josh. 
They are doing more housework. Okay. What about the number five? Which family member feels too busy? Busy, busy, busy. Which Judy? family? Judy. 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 Mm -hmm. Judy are feeling too busy. Busy, what really means in Spanish, guys, for you? Busy. When you are a very busy person. How? Cansado. No, no, busy, busy. Ocupada. Ah, ocupada. Ocupado. Ocupado. Ah. Cuando, es, cuando es alguien con muchos quehaceres, oficios, obligaciones. And when you don't have time for doing other things besides the one that the only that are under your obligation. That this is why we use busy. Busy, busy. Okay, here we have another one. What problem are Steve and Judy having? Which one do you think are the Steve and Judy problems, guys? They, uh, do they have economical problem, guys? Because they both, no. they... No. Mm -hmm. We need uh, money. Yeah, they need money because their expenses or su gastos, mejor dicho, are more because they have three children. Mm -hmm. three that's, children. that's why their expenses increase. Increase. Okay. The more children you have, the more money you spend. If you only have one child, you spend few. You have three, you're going to spend more. And not only with your child, the facilities at home increase electricity, water, internet. What else do we have at home? Here, no, but in the US, they have a uh, AC or, uh, or, or the heating system, la calefacción y el aire acondicionado. Uh, the rent, yeah. If you are not a homeowner, si no es dueño de una casa, you must pay rent. Even here in El Salvador, if you are not a homeowner, you have to pay rent. You have to pay rent. That's why uh, your expenses or su gasto incrementa. No es lo mismo gastar en uno que gastar en cuatro o cinco. No es lo mismo. Jamás va a ser lo que. Okay, which do you think it is the most serious? Of the two of them, who do you think is the most serious guy? Mm -hmm. Guys? Do you think it's um, Judy or Steve? the two of them. I think Steve is more serious. Steve. Steve is more serious. Okay, guys. Due to time is, is almost finishing, we are going to call the roll. Okay? I need to check right here. And, oh, we have just a, a few connected, right? Two, four. Yeah, here are a few. Okay. You're going to see right here. Today is Wednesday. Okay, pay attention, guys. Listen carefully. And Ana Graciela, are you there? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Anderson, Jeremy? I don't know what is happening with Anderson, but he's really missing a lot of classes. Armando Antonio, you were there, right? Yes. yes. Blanca Stephanie. Present teacher. Okay. Karina Beatriz. Karina Beatriz. No, she's not there. Carlos Aníbal. Present. 
Karina. Sí, Karina Beatriz, teacher, que tengo malísima la señal. Ah, ok, Karina, thank you. Carlos Aníbal. Carlos. Sí, no sé. Daniela Alejandra. Present, teacher. Ok, thank you. Diana Patricia. You were there. Yeah, uh, teacher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Elsa Noelia. Present. Okay, thank you. Floricia Menjibar Vigil. Present, teacher. Thank you. Henry Alexander. He, oh, Henry, he was driving. Yeah, he told me. Ingrid Esmeralda. Present, teacher. Mm -hmm. Jaime Iván. I saw, I saw you, okay. Uh, what, what did I do? Okay. Teacher present. Oh, Jocelyn. No, Diana. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I read, uh, yeah. I'm here. Teacher. Uh, Karina Yamilet. Okay. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Carla Gabriela. Ok. Eh, María Imelda. Present teacher. Ok. María Wendy. Present teacher. Ok. Marisol de Los Ángeles. Present. No. Es que los pequeños se meten. Miguel Ángel. Present teacher. Okay. Nelson Rutilio. No sé. No sé porque. Igual Nelson aquí... Rutilio. Traje para acá a comer. Who is having their their? Ay, okay. Nelson Rutilio, I didn't see you. Eh, Jose, Romer Jose. Present teacher. Okay, Ronald Alexander. Present teacher. Okay, Rosa Elizabeth Barrientos. Present teacher. Okay, Runo de mí. I couldn't hear you, Runo. Wilfredo, are you there? Wilfredo Alberto. You are not present today. Okay. Guys, this is just like a, like a call. Uh, please, the one that hadn't finished the, the activities in the platform, Please try to finish because it is necessary that you complete at least the 80% of them. If you don't have the 80% complete, you won't get your diploma or you will get the, the accreditation that, that is going to give you to you. And for the one that uh, didn't have your camera on and didn't explain what was happening in your cases. Okay, teacher here, very well. Okay. Siempre, teacher, yeah, I listen to you, Diana, I listen to you. Chicos, se lo voy a decir en español. Ya mañana es la última clase. Este, espero que estén conectados la mayoría. Las actividades, complementarlas a los que les hace falta, porque ya revisé... Eh, ah, ok, thank you, Nelson. Yeah, Nelson, se, Nelson me envió un mensaje para decirme. Este, siempre eh, háganle saber a la institución los problemas o los inconvenientes que tuvieron para que de esta manera nosotros les podamos brindar la mejor ayuda posible ¿no? para solventarles sus inconvenientes. Ok, guys, this is was everything for today. I hope to see you tomorrow on time. On time, not like today. On time, please. Tomorrow is the last class, and it, it will be very important for you. Okay, guys, take care, and I hope to see you tomorrow. Have a good day. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 bye.